I feel the good meekness of God in this place. Hallelujah. Thank God. How many know the Lord can do anything to children? Oh, yes. He can help me and you. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. Thank God. In Psalms 107, pray for the preacher. Amen. Yes. Amen. David said, we'll start at verse 1. He said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. I've been talking all over that today. Ain't it? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for He it's good. Yes, Amen. For His mercy endures forever. Yes, Amen. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Yes, yes. Amen. Who, <laughs> who He hath redeemed. Oh, Amen. From the hand of the enemy. I've got some witnesses, do yes. oh, yes. Amen. And gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Amen. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty. Amen. Somebody knows what that is. Oh, yeah. Hungry and thirsty. Their soul fainted in them. Amen. Then they cried unto the Lord. Oh, yeah. Amen. Those God that has a remedy. Oh, yes. He's got a remedy today. Yes. And then they cried unto the Lord. He said, in their trouble, amen, and he delivered them out of their distresses. Hallelujah, and he led them forth by the right way. He'll do that. That they might go to a city of habitation. Hallelujah, all the men would praise the Lord for his goodness, amen, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfied the lonely soul. Amen. And fill the hungry soul with goodness. Yes. Ain't the Lord good? Yes. Ain't the Lord good? Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank God stood by me and you've been there since day number one. Yes. And we're thinking His mercy and grace. Just us being here. Amen. Ought to be enough evidence to say the Lord has been mindful of me. Yes. That car wreck that I was in that should have took me out. Amen. The medicine now, now there's others that took that medicine Come on. and they not here. How many knows God lets the medicine work? Yes. How many knows it's God that lets the medicine work? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God if it had not been for the Lord. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank God. Remember, I told the testimony a while ago. I was saying last time, a uh, friend, I said, let me tell it. Let me tell it. She said, no. Oh, you can't tell it like I can tell it. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank God what the Lord has done for you. And I know it's so good and others would like to tell it. There ain't nobody can tell it like you can tell it. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank God, hallelujah. As I pray, hallelujah.
shall he find faith upon the earth. Amen. Thank God. Those, amen, who have faith. Those, the believers. Amen. Thank God the scripture says. Well, amen, the witnesses. Amen. Thank God. This is the question. It says the Lord is taking up all of the per days now. He said it. And he gave us pros a question. Where are my witnesses? Come on. Where are my witnesses? Amen. Where are we? Amen. I am seeing it. Amen. See it, it comes up before me daily. Amen. Thank God it's as bad and worse it was. Amen. And all the end as it was in the days of Son of the Lord. Come on. Amen. Thank God. God. And then all that comes up before me, the Lord says. <laughs> Amen. And I hear the murmuring in the land. Amen. And they're crying out, burning the reason of the test, Masters. Come on in. Yeah. And how do you remember our mind? Witnesses on, that threw all of your toes. Amen. This is good. Yes, yes, yes. God is good. How did we have please, Lord, to give the one? They just oh, have to confirm what the Lord has already done. Yes. Amen. Thank, Thank you, God. God. It's good. If it had not been Come on, the Lord, man. it was all my son. Amen. When men Thank rose God. up while they were just swallowing us. We hear you and children by the grace and the mercy of God. Oh, oh yeah. Amen. The world we live on, you're going to need him. You're going to need him more. Oh, yeah. He the house. I love you on top. Yeah. You're going to need him more. In the days ahead. Amen. Our babies are going to need him more. In the days ahead and ever. chapter 1. He said, you go tell your children and let your children tell their children and their children another generation. Hey, that's trouble in the land. That's a spiritual canker worm. Hey, man, that's going to happen to the bar all across the land. Hey, man, and it has no respect to persons. We need the Lord now more than we ever had. Oh, we need him. Yes, we Hallelujah to stand by us. Amen. Thank God. Where are my witnesses? The Lord said, Where are, where are my witnesses? Amen. Thank God not to. Amen. The old people, when they testify, you already now know what their troubles were. Come on. Amen. And then when they did mention them, they said, Now I've been through a battle, a little battle of my life. I've been through a battle of my life. Amen. But I ain't come to tell you about that. I come to tell you that my God has moved for me. Oh, oh my God. Have I got any in the house today? Oh, yeah. Have we got any in the house today? We are all my witnesses. Amen. Oh, 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 yes. Amen. We can share with the world all talks we ever want God. Amen. But talk about a God that has stood by me. <laughs> I thought, uh, hey, I get in trouble sometimes telling these. I tell other folks those testimonies because I love it. Hey, Amen. One time, Rogers, hey, Amen. He's a truck driver. Hey, Amen. Thank God, my father, when he told me that, hey, Amen. Thank God, what could have happened that day, Roger, in your truck? <laughs> it could have been on the six o'clock news. Come on. Yeah, it could have been on the system. Would you tell that, Roger, from that? Hey, man, I'll tell it, but I can't tell it like you can. Tell I was not safe very long, and I was driving across I-90. I, I was I drove about 3,000 miles a week. And I was going across the interstate, and I got, got the flu. And I was sitting there every time I would cough. I would, the lights would go out of my eyes. I would almost like pass out. But in truck driving, you have to make those miles up. Or you, if your wheels ain't turning, you don't get paid. So I kept on pressing on and pressing on, and finally I coughed and I passed out. And I want you to know when I woke up, when I woke up, that truck was in a straight line and never had veered off the road one time. 
That's the God that I serve. That is the God that I serve. I could have wrecked and killed somebody or killed myself, but he had his hand on me the whole time. The whole time. How many of these our children need to hear today? Our children need to know that there's a God that can call us. Hallelujah. Thank God. The Bible tells us about the Apostle Paul. Amen. His name at one time was called Saul. Amen. Thank God. He persecuted the church, persecuted this good way. Amen. He did. Hallelujah. Thank God. Glory to God that something come along the way that changed that man's life. And then we later got him to change his name. His name he changed to Paul. Amen. He did great and mighty things for the Lord. As he began to work for the Lord, here they come, persecutors. How many knows that all that they that will live godly shall suffer Amen. persecution? Yeah. Amen. It's our part. That's right. Amen. Just might as well just own up to it. It's our part. Amen. It's part of our cross. Hallelujah. Thank God that there they was. Amen. They sought to really kill the man. Amen. He was doing good. He was having converts. People's getting saved. And so they thought they would just lay hands upon him and kill him. But God began to stand by him and intervene. Amen. They brought him before the king. Amen. Through for King Agrippa. Hallelujah. Thank God. And that day, amen, he finally got, amen, a chance for him to answer for himself. That's right. You know why? Because they was trying to answer for him. Come on. They was trying to tell Hey man, the king, what he was all about. How many knows they was telling it wrong? Hey man, know you folks try to tell others what you're all about. And all they will do is tell it wrong. Hey man, they were telling it all wrong. Hey man, but as he stood before the king, he said, I think myself happy, O king of Blue, that I shall answer for myself this day. Hey Disobedient to the heavenly vision. 
Hallelujah. But so first unto them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coasts of Judea. And then to the Gentiles that they should, that they should repent and turn to God and do works before repentance. Amen. That's still the plan of God today. Amen. <laughs> Amen. For these causes the Jews called me in the temple and went about to kill me. Hallelujah. Thank God this next part it almost sounds like now Paul's trying to give our testimony. Because ours matches up just with it. He said, having therefore obtained the help of God, I continue unto this day. How many is that your testimony? That by the help of God, I'm here today. His hand. It's by the help of God. Amen. Mom and daddy may have been there, brother and sister. Amen. Thank God, preacher and prophet may have been. Amen. But thank God, I'm here today by the help of God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Witnessing both small and great, saying none other things which those which the prophets of Moses did say should come. The last verse. That Christ should suffer. That he should be the first that should rise from the dead and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. Now, wasn't that a wonderful testimony? Yes. Oh, that was a wonderful testimony. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Paul would go on later in Hebrews chapter 12. And he said, Wherefore, we be compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Amen. Let us therefore lay aside every weight. And the sin was just so easy to set us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus. Amen. Thank God that's where we got to look. Look, young people. Amen. Looking unto Jesus. Amen. He's the author. And for us old people. He is the finisher. Yeah. And as much as I need him from in the beginning, I don't need him more at the end. He is the author. He is the finisher of our faith. And we consider him which endure such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you faint and be weary in the mind. I fear and look to him. He is our Time. You have hurt 
wonderful testimonies of how God has moved for this one and God has moved for that one. Amen. And by and by, you may, you might let them not slip from you. You forget that. Amen. But when God moves for a little old you and a little old me, heaven knows you will never, as long as you've got your right mind, you will I got to see that Ronnie. Hey Amen. I was there. Hey Amen. In the service. Hey Amen. It was a, a mean time. Hey Amen. A dear, precious brother. Hey Amen. He, he had it bad. Uh, he was getting bad. Yeah. Parkinson's. And how he got around was on a little walking. And so help me. He can only shuffle his feet. He couldn't even go the full distance of his foot. Hey, they just shuffle it maybe six, eight inches. Yeah. Hey, man, that's how they just shuffle his feet. And he come because it is having me. Hallelujah. But nobody knew what the Lord was about to do. Yeah. I mean, that day wouldn't be the same to start the meeting. Come on. That day wouldn't be a preacher, amen, saying a prayer, or, amen, start the meeting. That day, I'm a witness to you. That day. Hallelujah. The altar was like that high. Hallelujah. That day, I was standing up on this side of the building. And that day, that man, that crippled man, amen, thank God he let that walker go. Amen. He took his leg. Amen. He put it up over that altar. Amen. He put the other one over the altar. He began to make his big old jumbo steps. Began to walk around the front of the church. How many knows everybody in the house was standing to their feet? Oh, there was nobody could say, look what I've done. Everybody had to say, see what the Lord oh, 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 oh. See what the Lord Like this, there I was, so hungry. 
I was hungry. I was just about to fill my belly with the husk that the swine, those hogs, was eating. Yeah. But it was God that let me brought a thought in my mind. It was God. I didn't believe it was God. Yes. Amen. And brought that thought to his mind. And he began to, amen, thank God. He said he'd come to himself. And he began to remember. Amen. He looked back and said, Do not my father's hired servants. Just the servants. I noticed he wasn't talking about them big soft. Amen. Easy pillow. Amen. He was talking about the lowest at his father's house. Do not my father's hired servants. Do they not have enough to eat and spare? Amen. Yeah. Hey, this is what I will do. I will leave. I'll, I'll leave this place, and I'll make my way back to the father's house. Yeah. And I'll say to my father, "Are <laughs> 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 you the redeemer of the Lord?" Hallelujah. Thank God you were there. And you were there, children. Hallelujah. Say, God. I will go back to my father and I'll say, Father, I've sinned against heaven against you. I'm no more worthy to be called your son. But would you just make me like one of these hard servants? Just make me like one of them hard servants. How oh, later you feel. That was when he had in his mind. Yes. Amen. I can picture it. So then I dropped the whole book. I dropped the slot bucket. I began to make my way back to the father's house. Can I talk? Let me talk to you just a few more minutes. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God I made to make my way back to the father's house. I've not already figured up what I'm going to try to say to him. I don't know if he accepted it, but I know what I'll, I'll plan on saying to him. Hallelujah, oh, thank God. I can hear him tell it, amen, tell it later on. He said, yo, I come up over the hillside. And before I could get to him, yeah. he got to me. Come on, boys. Yeah. I'm talking about our God today. Before I could get to him, yeah. amen, because he went away, he broke out of the room. Hey, Amen. Thank God. Before I could get to him, he got to me. He ran. Hey, Amen. Before I could tell and talk to him when I had already planned to tell him, thank God, it's too late. He, hey, Amen. You can see that compassion in his, hey, Amen, in his countenance. He fell on my neck. Again. Yeah. Hey, Amen. It was right then I had to interrupt him a little bit. And I said, Bob, I've sinned against heaven, against you. I ain't. I'm the world worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of the high iron servants. But you know what it was just like? The Father would pay me no mind. Pay me in because right then he just turned to one of the servants and said, You go get my best robe. Yes. The, my best. <laughs> and you put it on my son. Yeah. You go get a ring. That signet that says he belongs to me. And you put it on his head. Yes. Yeah. And you put the shoes on my boy's bare feet. Oh, this my boy was dead. Now he's alive. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was lost, but now he's found. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Thank God. And there's never been a day. I can hear him say it. They never been a day. Amen. That I was weary. Amen. To getting up. And going out into the Father's field and labor for my Father. Because look how good He is. Yes. Yes. Forgive me of all my transgressions. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Thank you. The hardest thing you will ever do is to forgive ourselves. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The hardest thing. It'll wear it right there. Yeah. But how many knows? Father that day he was hey man, watching for his boy, looking for his boy. Hey man, ready. The scripture says he's ready to say. Hey man, hey, I'm gonna ask Brian maybe come to the piano. Maybe stay a little bit. Hey man, God's been good to you. 
Let me, let me tell this. Let me speak to the young people just a little bit. My home. I wasn't raised up in a Christian home. But I had a praying grandma and grandpa lived down in Wood, Indiana. How many knows what they were praying? Yeah. God save my children, God save my grandchildren. Yeah. We were hey man, I looked it up. I was 389 miles away from here. Hey man, on the island of the Mississippi River, they had a bridge cooking it to Illinois. Look it up. Camels Island, East Moline. Illinois, 389 miles from here. And how many knows God's on our main shore? Oh, yeah. He's on our main shore. Daddy was an alcoholic, and mommy, mommy, amen, didn't go to church, she didn't serve the Lord. But one day, hey man, it was a summer. Hey man, hey man, right down from our house, not even two blocks. You can see it from the house. It's a little bitty Salvation Army Church. Hallelujah. Right down there. It had a little sign out there. Amen. I supported too. It said Vacation Bible School. Amen. We support that. Amen. Because it does something for this little fella. Amen. Come in my mind. I said, Mommy, can we go to, a, you know, sometimes good things that come out of boredom. We just want to do something. Come on. So I said, oh, can we go? Oh, yeah. So we went. And in that little classroom, hey, man, I was about, I guess, 12-year-old, 11, 12. <clears throat> hey, man, and they began to tell me about a man called Jesus. They would talk of the places that he would go and the people that he would touch, the lives that he would touch. At the end of the fourth grade, they give you the little New Testaments. Yeah. And I'd go home. That began to trouble me. And they began to tell me that He come to save us, that we wouldn't have to be lost and perish. Yeah. Amen. And I went home and I began to read that little book, Read Your Bible, Young People. That's right. That's Amen. Because right. it's a living document. And though you've read it a hundred times, Amen. Hey, one on one may be just exactly the medicine that you need for the day. Right. I don't know who it is. That's right. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. And I didn't even think I'm out it. Hey, Amen. But I come to a crossroad in my life, and this is what it was, brother. Hey, Amen. Thank God I said I've got to know for myself. Oh, it was good that yeah. the Sunday school teacher, hey, Amen, that the preacher, hey, Amen, hey, Amen, knows about, but I've got to know. Hey man, I'd like to tell you, you can find out for yourself. Yeah. Hey, All right. You can find out for yourself. Hey man, and there was a mulberry tree out in the back of our house. And that day, I, mean, I played it so many times. Right? It's just up and down. But that day, there was no playing. And this little fellow didn't even know how to pray. I didn't know how to pray. But I climbed that mulberry tree that day. And I looked towards the heavens. <laughs> it was a pure, beautiful day, a pretty blue sky, and little white clouds, you know, the beautiful pretty ones. Hey, Amen. And I began to talk to the Lord, talk to Jesus. Hey, Amen. His old childhood. I said, Lord, I've heard about you. They've told me about you. Now I've even read about you. But today, I've got to know for myself. I've got to know, are you real? And from there on, I remember saying and praying, Lord Jesus, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself. That's all I remember saying, reveal yourself to me. I mean, I was part of that thing. And then I didn't know I was building up. I know now it was that faith. Amen. Yeah. Building up. Amen. It was building up in the morning. I said that. Amen. The more I, I can picture it in my mind that the clouds, the heavens is going to roll back and I was going to see the face of Jesus. Oh. Amen. I just kept saying and looking, expecting. Amen. Thank God. But the clouds never did roll back. But good 
children. After a while, there was something come to the top of that border tree. The spirit of the living God that you know around your soul that met me with a full assurance. And I know beyond the shadow of death. Amen. God's man is witness. Amen. 